Brandon Lee's fiance is breaking her silence after the accidental shooting on the New Mexico set of Alec Baldwin's movie Rust that left cinematographer Helena Hutchins dead and director Joel Souza wounded. Eliza Hutton issued a statement about the tragedy to People magazine this week, her first public remark since a similar incident caused Lee's death back in 1993, saying, quote, 28 years ago, I was shattered by the shock and grief of losing the love of my life, Brandon Lee, so senselessly. My heart aches again now for Helena Hutchins' husband and son, and for all those left in the wake of this avoidable tragedy. Hutton went on to share her thoughts on how to prevent future incidents, adding, quote, I urge those in positions to make change to consider alternatives to real guns on sets. The 57-year-old also reportedly posted a throwback engagement photo of her and Brandon to her private Instagram account, writing in her caption, there's no such thing as a prop gun. Bruce Lee's 28-year-old son was shot with a real bullet while filming The Crow. His co-star fired the gun, believing it to be loaded with blanks. Lee's death is considered one of the most unforgettable onset Hollywood accidents, and the news of Hutchins' loss left Lee's family saddened. Last week, his sister Shannon tweeted her condolences, writing, Our hearts go out to the family of Helena Hutchins and to Joel Souza, and all involved in the incident on Rust. No one should ever be killed by a gun on a film set, period. An investigation into Lee's death found that the crew was negligent. However, according to the New York Times, the district attorney said in 1993 that there was no evidence to prove criminal wrongdoing. No charges were filed. The Rust shooting remains an open investigation. No arrests have been made. On Wednesday, Santa Fe Sheriff Adon Mendoza said in a press conference that 600 items of evidence were recovered, including a lead projectile that was removed from Sousa's shoulder. Mendoza added that Baldwin remains a, quote, active part of the investigation and that he, along with armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed and assistant director Dave Halls, have been cooperative. As for possible charges, District Attorney Mary Carmack Altwies told reporters that nothing and no one has been ruled out, but it's going to take weeks, if not months, to gather all the facts. Authorities confirmed last Thursday that Baldwin had discharged the weapon in question. A search warrant affidavit obtained by Access Hollywood cites that Baldwin had been told the gun was, quote, cold or without live rounds before he handled it during a rehearsal.